All right, good evening, everybody, and thank you for tuning in. Um, so I might have screwed us just a little bit tonight. Um, I started, so the version of Kali Linux I run is the 2019.3 distribution. Um, I did a stream a couple days ago where we used Metasploit and noticed that when we were searching some of the exploits in the Metasploit room, uh, the Metasploit framework wasn't up to date. So I decided, hey, you know what? I will update Kali Linux. It can't take that long, right? Um, well, guess what? I started it about a half hour ago, and it is still going. So it might slow us down a little. I'm hoping not tonight. Um, but we're going to kind of continue where we left off and see, hopefully, if our updates don't screw us tonight. Um, and one moment, I'm going to post my, uh, stream in one other place. Um, I just got access, otherwise I would have posted before we started. I'm trying to branch out to a couple of other places. The Cyber Mentors Discord is another place that I've uh, started going through. So uh, one thing, you do get notifications when you're a subscriber. So Polo Mints has released a new walkthrough room called Network Services, which I'm sure is going to be awesome. Um, but we're going to continue on with the learning paths tonight. And as always, uh, please chat with me in the stream chat. Um, Hopefully I can get to where I am up to that affiliate level eventually and can start doing subs and give out some rewards. I'm looking at some good ones. Um, if you guys have ideas for what they could be, please also drop those in the chat as well. But uh, I was thinking like uh, one month subscriptions to try hack me or places like that. Um, stuff like that for your followership and support. So. Today, uh, yesterday we went through the introduction to research. Uh, a couple days ago we did Learn Linux and Linux Challenges, so today we're going to do the Red Primer Tmux series, which is a command line tool for the Linux terminal. Um, I am super excited about this because it makes tabbing around in the terminal so much easier, and I haven't used it yet, so I am super excited to be going through this room with you guys. So task one. Hey, it is the mayor. Thank you for dropping by. Your stream was awesome earlier today, and um, I'm just doing a little try hack me of the beginner learning path tonight. Uh, again, thanks for dropping in. Okay, so the terminal multiplexer, uh, one of the most used tools by the Linux community. Uh, Tmux makes running simultaneous tasks for Pinterest incredibly easy. Walk through the process of installing and using some of those key combinations. Note the install process, and this is geared towards Kali Ubuntu. Um, so, great, there's a link to this cheat sheet, which I feel like I am going to have to save uh, this for later, for sure, on my normal box. Um, yeah, thanks, man, I appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to doing some of this. This Try Hack Me stuff is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and install Tmux. So Ubuntu Kali with apt-get install Tmux. And again, hopefully I haven't shot myself in the foot with updating Kali right now. Yeah, it looks like I did, that's awesome. All right, so now let's try it. I'll update Kali later. Okay, so apt-get install Tmux. So, we recommend you close any open Tmux ses sessions before proceeding with the upgrade. I don't have any Tmux sessions open. So, here we go. We are installing Tmux. And I need to join this room. So, I will do that while it's going. Hey, and the mayor is hosting this stream. Um, so that's one cool thing I've found out with, uh, and the mayor's following. Hey, thanks. I really appreciate it. Um, so one of the cool things about 
Twitch is the ability to build the community like this. Um, you can host other people's streams. And uh, throughout the day, since I'm a late night streamer, I have uh, some of the guys that I know and have started following, like the mayor um, and the cyber mentor and a few others uh, hosting on my channel. And I got a host back, which is awesome. All right, so it looks like Tmux is installed. So let's launch a new session. What command do we use to launch a new session without a custom name? Uh, it looks like Tmux. So let's try it. All right. So I have launched a new session without a custom name, Tmux. All Tmux commands start with a keyboard button combination. What is the first key in this combination? Um, the first key appears to be control across the board. All right, how about the second key? Note these keys must be pressed at the same time and released before hitting the target. Um, B. Looks like across the board here, it is a control B and then something. Okay, so a B. Let's go ahead and detach from our newly created TMUX session. What key do we need to add to the combo in order to detach? So detach. Um, so there's attach, here's kill. Uh, D for detach, control B, D. Okay, so D. So let's give that a shot, control B, D. Control B, D. Control B, control B, D. There we go, okay, so we exited. How do we list all of our sessions? Um, how do we list all of our sessions? It's Windows, Tmux Panes, Rename Session. So remember, we've got to use all of the skills that we used before. So our Google dorking or our Google foo as they talk about. So let's try that. How to list all sessions. I'm not screaming in all caps, I promise. So control B S. So is there an S anywhere on this cheat sheet? Nope, so I'm not crazy. It's not there. Huh. So that didn't work. Um... Tmux AT is attached to last session. It says how do we Tmux AT? No. Nope. Tmux. Let me Tmux something here. If anybody in the chat has any ideas, hit me up. Tmux info? Oh no, am I froze up here? Hmm. Let's see. Tmux info? All right.
Oh, this one isn't on the cheat sheet, but it's the same as listing files on Linux. So I bet it's tmuxls. I also bet we're going to run into problems with this half-done upgrade. What did our session name default to when we created one without a set name? tmux new um, zero. Looks like our session is zero. So now how do we attach to a session? So tmux a dash t session name. tmux tmux a tmux a dash t session name. tmux a dash t session name. Let's go ahead and make a new window in this session. What key do we add to the combo in order to do this? New window. Control B C for create window. So C. Okay, so control B C. Oh. I don't yeah, something really doesn't like me here tonight. All right, Tmux new. It's like it really doesn't want me to do it. Control B. Let's see. Same time and real, see if it sometimes if you just read man, how about the second key? These keys must be pressed at the same time and released before pressing the next target key. So control B C. There we go. Now I have a zero bash and a one bash. Okay. So now let's remedy. So we have tons of windows, nothing to fill them up with. Let's remedy that problem by deploying the VM above. Okay, so where's the VM? So we'll go deploy and give it a minute to start up. Right. So we've had it up for about 30 seconds now. Let's see if we can get this and map scan going. So what did it want us to run? So let's see a big long one. All right. So anybody remember what that scan does? So let's take a look. So VV, if you don't remember. Oh, how do I scroll up in this thing? I don't know if I like that. All right, well. Well, you know what? Let's look at the cheat sheet. Um, select window, create window. Move to Windows last used. Move cursor down up right. I don't know if I like that you can't uh, can't scroll here. It's just going through all my commands. Well, I'm going to make it smaller for just a second so we can see. Yeah, I can't even get all this up. Okay. Um, well, let me open a new window. And I'll just show you what we're doing here. So if I bring up the help friend map. 
So it says it wants me to run a SV, which is service inversion. Anybody remember what the VV is? So should be verbosity. All right, so output, increase verbosity level, VV or more for greater effects, so very verbose, right? Um, and then let's enter copy mode. So if this output won't fit on the screen. So let's uh, let's make you bigger. So, okay, so there we go. Okay, so let's kick off this nmap scan. So nmap tech svvvsc target IP. And if you're wondering on that SC, that's up here as well. Equivalent to script default, right? So it's going to try and find vulnerabilities. Okay. So here we go. So we'll go nmap tack nmap tack s s v tack very verbose tack s c for scripts and the target ID of ten dot ten dot eighty five dot two two six. All right, so it completed NSC. Now it's doing the ping scan. Yeah, so a lot of stuff getting thrown in here, right? So now what key do we add to the combo to enter copy mode? So left bracket. That guy. Oof, all right, internet is slow tonight. Copy mode is very similar to less. and allows us to scroll up and down using the arrow keys. Okay, so control, control B. Oh, all right, I can, I can deal with this. So it's, wish it would have told me that before I was doing this. Okay, so I can scroll up and down using the arrow keys. Sweet. I like it. So what do I have to do if I want to go to the very top? Well, I go to the very top of this and I hit the G key. Maybe. Yeah. Let's say G for go to top. Okay. How about the bottom? Capital G. Oh. It's like things just aren't quite doing what they're supposed to do. Let me exit copy mode. I'm sure it'll teach us. Okay, so capital G to go to the bottom. Oh, what key do we press to exit copy mode? All right. Here's where we got to find it again. Enter copy mode. Oh, Q for quit. I like Q for quit. Yep, there we go. Okay. This window work is nice, but I think we add an upgrade. What key do we need to the comma to split the window vertically? So this is where I'm this is what I'm talking about right here. So percent sign for vertical split.
Hmm. All right, so horizontal split. Uh, quote marks. Quote marks. Inventkin, thanks for tuning in. Okay, and we can now use move between these panes using the key combo and arrow panes. Hold on one sec. So I just realized that I had my microphone muted there for a second. Um, but look at this, guys. So Control B being that key code, I can tap Control B and move between these windows. So I can do, you know, 10, 10, 85, 226. And there's an nmap scan kicking off. And then I could be over here, like in MSF console. All right, so I can, and if I want to resize, make this guy a little bigger so I can read it. And then if you look at the bottom here, I have a star next to session one. I'm in session one, so if I hit control B and hit the zero, now I go back to my full screen session here. Control B one. Okay, so I think that they've already got me sold a little bit here on, um, Tmux. One thing I want to check while we're at it. Um, so we mentioned Metasploit the other day, right? Um, there is a entire um, free class right now on Offensive Security's website called Metasploit Unleashed. 
Um, they're asking for a donation to feed a kid for a month for in the Hackers for Charity nonprofit, which is well worth it, right? Um, but this is a completely guide to using Metasploit. There are GUIs, there's writing fuzzers, info gathering, there's tons of stuff in here, right? Um, right, Metasploit Community Edition is pretty much what our what all of us use. Um, but once you get more professional, right, Metasploit GUIs, it'll talk about all this stuff. All right, so this is a great course. Uh, if you haven't gone through it, bookmark it. Um, and then one other thing, um, while we're outside of my VM a little bit, before we keep going, if you go to my blog, which I will link in the chat, actualtom.com, um, one other thing you will find now is I made a new post about Twitch. And in here I included a lot of the references that I use on a daily basis. So um, Veteran Sec website. The Cyber Mentor website, uh, some blogs. I had to do a plug for mine while I was at it. Um, but the Cyber Mentors, CyberSec Padawan, um, that is uh, the mayor. That is the guy who is hosting this right now on his stream. CyberSec Padawan. Um, hacking Practice, Try Hack Me, what we're doing right now. Can Hack Me, Hack the Box, CyberSec Labs, all great places to go. Um, regex1 is probably the best possible tool for learning regular expressions. So it goes through multiple lessons where you have to solve the problem to move on to the next one, right? Uh, tons of stuff here. So great things. Um, please take a look at my site. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Um, I am moving more of my site. Um, so this used to be kind of just a personal. Uh, site i'm into a lot of things other than cybersecurity. i'm pretty uh, big into politics especially in my state um, and i was posted quite a bit here on that um, i am migrating that off to my own personal site and making this all about cybersecurity and how i can give back to you guys in the community so please uh, take a look check it out use my resources if you have more uh, throw them up yourselves um, another place to look is um, if you join the UR Hacker Discord, man. UR Hacker Discord references, or sorry, resources, we've got tons. Um, compiled by one of our fellow mods and put together by the community. We've got hack explaining Vim Genius for training in Vim. Uh, tons of stuff here, man. Good 50, 60 links. And of course, work is texting me, even though it's 10 o'clock at night. So, that is Discord. That is my blog. Um, and if you get a chance, if you're in right now, um, this is my Twitch, which is going to go crazy now. But if you go to the Mayor 11, this is his Twitch, which now is going to go crazy as well because it's nested input on input on input, but please tune into him, see his, um, sorry, I was hearing myself talk, got a little distracting. Uh, please tune into his during the day. He is at 10 a.m. Pacific, I am at 10 p.m. Pacific. Awesome dude, really enjoyed his CyberSec Labs walkthrough today. All right, so let's get back to it. So we have made multiple windows, control B, I can switch between them and type stuff. It's great. So how do we kill a pain? I bet it's a K. Control B. Oh, nope. X. Control B. X to kill a pain. Okay. And how do we close a session? What do we type to close? Um, exit. Quit. Move sessions. New sessions. Attach sessions. Uh, well, quit. Nope. Exit. I mean, exit did get us out after I typed it enough times.
And how do we spawn a Tmux session named Neat? Well, Tmux new tech s and the session name. So, Tmux new tech s Neat. So I could spawn a session and name it Recon. I could spawn a session and name it Exploit. And then I could make a bunch of little windows for uh, Nmap and Mass Scan and all sorts of stuff and kick off everything all at once. And oh my god, I could go crazy and this would be freaking cool. All right, so did I literally just finish the Tmux room? I don't feel like I got. Did I did I literally just finish the Tmux room with you guys? Oh, there we go. I didn't c click complete on task one. There we go. We have completed the Tmux room. All right, so. Another TV viewer, Commander Root, thanks for tuning in. So Tmux, again, quick refresher on what we've covered. So this is the Tmux, new, right? And now I have made a uh, terminal multiplexer is what it stands for. Um, and then I can... So I can name Tmux new tac s recon. Session should be nested with care. Unset Tmux to force. Um, did I close you? So how do I make a new session? Um, Tmux new tac s recon. Right. Um, no. Oh no, I guess it would just be Windows, right? So I can have a session. Um, so I can control B. Hmm, so let's switch Windows. But anyways, I can uh, control B and control B and and you just hate me tonight, don't you? Yep, sure does. Uh, so here we go. Oh, there. So, control B, quote, that's index. Control uh, B, quote, and control B, percent. And now I've got all these windows that I can do a little bit of everything with, right? And then I can control B and move these up and down. And I can call this all my recon session. And then if I wanted to, I can control B N. Goes to the next window. How do I make a new window again? C for create. Control B C. All right. Now I've got a new window. So I can control B zero and I'm back to that. Control B one and I'm in there. And I can just go crazy. I think I'm gonna spend a lot of time playing with this. Um, and getting this cheat sheet, which I am going to copy that link location and see if that copying goes outside of my box. Nope. So, you know what? We're going to just type that in imager.com, imager.com slash bl, bl, 9d, 90 and 3u. All right, so there's that sheet. I am going to save that image. That is awesome. So, Tmux cheat sheet. All right. So, I've got, looks like three of you guys in the chat tonight, plus whoever might be joining us from the mayor's page. So, what else do we want to talk about? check in my well let's uh let's get rid of the virtual machine so that nobody's waiting on it it was really just a machine to ping something against for a uh, uh for a uh end map okay so let's uh common linux privilege escalation 
Sure, I guess we can start. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and join the room. Yeah, no shit, I need to join the room. Okay, got it. Let's deploy. Connect to the TriHackMe open VPN server. Okay, so we know how to do that already. We go to where our open VPN file is, which is on the desktop, right there as actualtom.ovpn. We go open VPN, actualtom.ovpn. All right. That is completed. Make sure you're sitting comfortably and have a cup of tea, coffee, or water close. So I promise uh, I'm not going to have that one close. I've got a little bit of rum and coke here because it is 10 o'clock at night. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff here. So this is going to be fun. Um, so privilege escalation, going from a lower pressure to a higher, right? Logging in as some user who doesn't have full permissions on the operating system. Um, and then escalating to gain system administrator level. Yeah. Also enables us to get that cheeky root flag. So the direction. So, right, going from normal user to normal user is horizontal. Right, so when we were doing some of the other rooms earlier where we had the Shiba user accounts, right, in the Learn Linux set, um, we had to move along to Shiba 4, and then we moved back to Shiba 2 because that had pseudo privileges. Um, she was, Shiba 2 was in the sudoers file. And then we could gain access to that root.txt. All right, so hijacking numerous other users uh, to get to those sued files attached to their home directory. And then vertical is where we gain higher privileges, more stuff. All right, so enumeration. Lin enum. Oh, man. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's open a new, new tab of this. No, I just want to... So Lin Enum. So let's go ahead and download that. All right, I've got it. So Lin Enum. Let's extract. Show the files. And I'm going to throw her right on my desktop. Let's take a look at the readme while we're at it. Um, so, dot slash linenum, tech, dot sh, tech s, tech keyword, tech r, tech report, tech e, slash temp, and slash t. So, slash t is throw tests, slash s is current user password. K is a keyword. Okay, so now I have a new tool that I need to remember to put on my Cali box. So, you know what? While we're talking about good note taking, let's open up one note. Let's go to Try Hack Me. Uh, that was my vulnerability. We'll make a new page. Stuff to install on. A new Cali VM. Lin enum.sh. Linux enumeration common privesk. All right. Okay, so let's go back to try hack me. So we're probably not going to get through this room tonight. Um, but this is a simple bash script that performs common commands related to privilege escalation. Yeah. 
And these are the tools, right? So this is what I love about tri uh, TriHackMe, is these are the kinds of tools that you want to learn, and when you have a Kali box, you want to get installed so that when you do something like the Penetration Testing uh, Professional PTP course or the OSCP, you already have this stuff, you've already gotten used to using it, You've learned the hard way, right? You can go through all this stuff by yourself manually, but you want some of this stuff. Because when you do a course like the OSCP, where you can only use Metasploit on one machine, um, you want some of these other tools that make your lives a little easier. So, so yeah, so this is something I have to get onto the target machine, right? So, um, luckily, built into Python is a, right, so I'm going to go out to my desktop. That's where Linenum is. So luckily, um, built into Python is a simple HTTP server, right? And now, if I can get on that target machine and browse here, like this, with a wget or something, I can grab that file. So great, great uh, tool to know about. Okay, and then, yeah, if you can um, have sufficient permissions, you could just make it as a new file, make it executable, and now you've got it, right? Um, if you have permissions to make it executable, you can, you could literally, uh, if you couldn't figure out copying and pasting across that, you could literally just type it, worst case. Okay, so it's broken down into different sections. Can we read and write sensitive files, SUID files, cron tab contents, or cron jobs? Those are like scheduled tasks in Windows. Um, what else? Cron tab contents. So first let's SSH using user3 password. Okay. So SSH user3 at... 10.10.115.95. Uh, yeah. Password. All right, so we're in. Linux Lite 4.4. This is a Linux Lite 4.4 box. Okay, so we have gotten a foothold as a normal privilege user. What is the host name? Do you know how to find the host name? System info. Pull a box. Look at the output of slash etc slash password. So how do I look at that? Cat slash etc slash password. How many user X are there on the system? One, two. Oh wait, we go up. Hmm. Looks like there's a user one through user eight. So let's say eight. How many available shells are there on the system? So I think this is going to be the point where we're going to start that HTTP server. So let's go here. Python. TACM. Simple HTTP server. All right. So now, what is my own? So my ton zero. IP is 10.8.13.209, and I'm running that on port 8000. So wget, right, and they kind of show us how to do it up here. You'll get used to that, but it's IP port and then the file. So what's my ton zero? 
10, 8, 13, 209. Okay, so 10.8.13.209. 8,000 slash lin enum dot sh. Boom. Now, there it is. Ch mod, ch mod plus x lin enum dot sh. Boom. Guess what? Dot slash linenum dot sh. Oh dear God, that's a crap ton of information. So we'll probably finish task one here tonight. And then we'll probably call it a night. Okay, so there looks like there's a ton you can do here. This is pretty cool. In fact, this is this is really cool, guys. So host names, polo box, oh, specific release, kernel information. All right. So kernel information continues, specific release, Linux Lite, Bionic Beaver. It's uh, Ubuntu, 18.04.2. Host name's polo box. Uh, current user group info is user three. Um, guess what? User 8 was previously logged on. What am I doing? I'm a, I have a bash shell and lending them. Um, group memberships. So there's all the different groups. Looks like we have some admin users. Syslog, ADM. There's that contents of ETC password. Super user accounts. All the user accounts have done sudo. Our permissions on the home directory lack, so read, write, execute is root. So shell, looks like just slash bin slash bash. So one, just the bash shell. Okay, that's not correct. Oh, here we go. Valid logon shells. Four, sh dash bash and rbash, okay. What is the name of the bash script that is set to run every five minutes by cron? Oh, look at that. Passwords never have to be changed. So every five minutes by cron. So I'll tell you, I'm not super familiar with how to read this. It looks like minutes, hours, days, months, weeks, maybe. Um, but either way, it looks like this is the one that has a five. So it looks like it's autoscript.sh. Autoscript.sh. Another TV viewer. Thanks for tuning in as well. Always appreciate the follows. Okay, what critical file has had its permission changed to allow some users to write to it? Critical files, critical files, networking, ARP, name servers. Default route. Oh, look at this. 
ports it's listening on. Both TCP and UDP services. There is so much enumeration in here, I almost don't even know what to do with it. Process binaries and associated permissions. Binary permissions. Interesting files. Installed compilers. Can we read write sensitive files? So we'll look at that. User can write to the shadow file. Alright, so remember these permissions are user group. Sorry, oh user group owner. See, what do you do when you're not sure on something? Google, man, Google. Owner group all. Owner group all. So anybody can read the password file, the group file, and the profile file. The owner can read and write to the shadow file, and the group can read the shadow file. So this is the one that I'm really interested in, right? I can write to the user's TC password. All right, so now it says think about this as we continue to exploit the system. Okay, so we are at our five minutes to end. Um, obviously didn't get quite as much, quite as far as I would have liked with you guys. We did go through Tmux, though, which was super cool, and there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, next time when we... Oh, ha. Ah, I don't have Tmux on this box, right? Um, but next time as we go into kind of further uh, exploiting this little box here, Polo, um, we'll look at privilege escalation. Um, we, so tonight we went through all the Tmux. Um, got to play around with making multiple windows, sessions, moving between them all, resizing them. Um, looks like that's going to be super handy for, for kind of future use. And then got to play with Linny Num. Um, this looks super powerful. So I am definitely going to hang on to this. Um, right, simple bash script, common commands for Privesk. Um, And obviously, understand what commands it does ex execute, because you have to get it on that box, right? You have to get it on that machine. So, Python, make my simple uh, HTTP server, and then use wget. Okay, so since we're done in this for the night, I am going to go ahead and close out of my VPN connection. And I am going to um, apt update and apt upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna start updating my Cali box. Um, super awesome that I have Lenny Num now. That's a great thing to know about. Um, hopefully, we start getting a couple more people in the chat, and we can get some actual like discussions going on. Uh, but I am super appreciative for everybody that dropped by tonight. The Mayor 11, awesome to have you. Um, 
I will be watching your stream tomorrow for sure. Um, and anybody else that has taken the time to drop in and check me out, I really appreciate it. Uh, leave you here with a couple of resources. All right, so um, kind of just tons of stuff. I'll just leave up the cybersecurity section for some doing some studying of your own. The MITRE webpage, the Looking Glass Threat Map, Capture the Flag Gamified Learning. Um, that is what I'm all about, right? I went to Western Governors University for my bachelor's degree in IT security, and it wasn't gamified, but it was definitely hands-on practical experience. Um, and I am all about hands-on, uh, they call it competency-based learning, right? It wasn't just read a book, write a paper, which is what my master's in cybersecurity was, is like so far. Um, but it is all about, prove to me you can do this. It was certification-based learning, and I loved it. Um, and then the last thing I kind of want to leave you guys with, um, if you need those resources, uh, you can go back and watch this video for free and pause it. But the last thing I want to leave you with is I've got an announcement to make tonight, and I'm super excited about it. So eLearn Security, kind of up and comer in the certification world. Um, kind of the new version of the OSCP. Um, not so much try harder, it's more teaching, right? It's almost like hack the box is the OSCP and try hack means eLearn Security. Um, these guys are all about teaching you and practically showing you the right way to do stuff. Uh, but their tests are very hands-on. Um, that's everything based on what I've read. That isn't anything based on me actually going through their certs yet. Um, I am super excited because their certifications are not cheap. If you look here, uh, they do paths, um, right? Network pen tester. So they do, they do paths here, PTS, PTP, PTX, pen testing student, um, pen testing professional. And then pen testing elite. So for me to go through all three of these, this is uh, what are we looking at? This is three thousand five hundred dollars, and that's lab time. That's the test vouchers. Um, that is, poof. That's a lot of stuff, right? And that's with their discount. Um, if you have a chance to check out their blog, they just made a post tonight, right here, man. I am super excited. So eLearn Security announces partnership with Veteran Sec. Um, I am active duty military, so I'm a military veteran. And eLearn Security partnered with Veteran Sec. They announced it today. Veteran Sec should be announcing tomorrow. Um, but they are providing access to penetration testing student to 10 Vet Sec members. Um, veteran Sec's offerings focus on ethical hacking and red team training. So penetration testing is what we, a lot of us are into. Um, and Veteran Sec is going to make the announcement tomorrow on who the 10 people are. Um, I have, I don't want to jinx it, but um, I will be one of the people starting the penetration testing student course. Free, thanks to the partnership between Veteran Sec and eLearn Security. So I am super excited, super thrilled. I'm going to start saving my pennies because I want to move forward and get into PTP afterwards. Um, hopefully through support from guys like you checking out our stream and uh, just a little bit of extra side work. I can scrape together some coin to get the next one going after I'm done with this. But I am super excited. Um, it's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now is just to try and share that knowledge with everyone else. So thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Thank you for your support. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow night. All right. Have a good night, everyone.